this is my review for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Gears. Gears is a repaint of the AllSpark powered stockade mold from the first movie line. Um, and I have to say, between the two, I honestly prefer Gears because one, I'm a big Gears fan, and two, um, while Stockade is an excellent, excellent figure, um, Gears just has a much better color scheme and just has a lot more personality than Stockade, um, if you ask me. Um, I would have preferred if they had done him in G1 colors and vehicle mode as well as robot mode because, as you can see, um, they decided to make him a very plain uh, gray-silver uh, color in vehicle mode. Um, it, it looks okay. Um, it's not horrible, certainly, but it's just not that great. Um, he does have a... Autobot symbol on his hood with a gear around it, which befits his name. Um, he does have some gears uh, down here with some little wavy line detailing. Um, they gave him brown hubcaps, which I don't really understand. Um, and one of the main complaints I have, and probably the only complaint I have about this figure, is instead of keeping the uh, translucent blue uh, windows that uh, Stockade had, they decided to go ahead and give him purple uh, translucent windshields, which looks really, really strange in robot mode. In vehicle mode, it doesn't look too, too bad, but in robot mode, it just looks really bleh. Um, not much to say about the vehicle mode. Um, it does roll pretty well, um, and that's about it. Uh, to transform him, very simple. Uh, you want to take these panels back here and flip them up, like so. Do the same on this side. Like so. Um, then you want to take the hood of the car and lift it down. Um, you can go ahead and flip these up. Uh, then you want to split the hood, like so. Uh, lift this piece down. Flip out his heel spur. Bring his foot down. Again, bring this piece down. Bring down his heel spur. Which doesn't want to seem to come out. There we go. Um, then you want to straighten out his legs. Uh, take the roof of the car and split it down the middle, like so. Um, then you want to lift these pieces up right here. Uh, then you want to extend the arms by bending them. And then to get his head out, you want to lift this piece up and then push it all the way back. And there you have gears in robot mode. Um, same possibility as stockade, uh, ball jointed hips, uh, Knees bend, uh, foot goes up and down, uh, heel spurs posable if you want. Um, heads on a very limited ball joint. Um, he does have waist articulation. Uh, arms go 360, they go in and out. Um, bends at the elbow, uh, bends a little bit backward at the elbow if you want. Uh, these fingers are articulated. He does have the same punching gimmick that uh, Stockade had. Um, and that's about it. Um, but as you can see, just a really, really nice color scheme. Um, really uh, a great Gears homage. Um, I'm glad that they decided to pick this mold. Um, if they weren't going to make a new Gears mold, I would have picked this mold um, to make an homage to, an homage to Gears. Um, for a size comparison, uh, here he is next to Stockade. So as you can see, that this turned into that. So you can see it's just a much, much better color scheme overall, like I said. Um, still a good figure, but I think that uh, overall Gears just has the much better color scheme and is much better looking. And there you go, my, my look at Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Gears. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.